Hey everyone, how are we all going this week? Um, so as you've probably read, maybe this week's blog is on calories and how to count them and how to work out what's in your food and more importantly work out um, the calories in a recipe you make. Um, some magazines or recipe books will have the calories broken down per serve for you. The only problem with this is you don't know what brands of foods they've used in their recipe compared to the brands that you're using in your recipe. So it's a rough guide. It's never going to be exact unless you work it out exactly yourself with the brands of food that you buy. So I'm just going to do a quick um, demo of how I work it out when I've got a recipe in front of me and I've got my ingredients out and I'm about to make something. So I weigh everything, every ingredient I weigh into my bowl and um, I write it down as I go and make a list. And then I look those foods up on my fitness pal and see how many calories is in each of those ingredients. And I add it all up. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. So last week I posted some of my favorite recipe books and this is one of them. It's a newer one I've bought. I'm really liking the recipes in here. Um, and I'm gonna to make today the um, some baked oat cups. And I'm gonna make this particular recipe here, the banana chop chip baked oat cups. And as you can see, it says here um, that it will make 12. And it will be, where is it? Here. So 136 calories per oat cup. But I don't know exactly what brand of ingredients they have used for this. I don't know what brand of rolled oat cups they've used. I don't know what brand of coconut oil or, and this one is calling for almond milk and I can't stomach that. So I just use skim milk for mine. And also like the maple syrup, the chopped chips. Unless you know the exact brand of something you're using, it's going to be different to what's in this ingredients list. So um, here are my ingredients. I've got everything that's in that list, except I use skim milk instead of almond milk. I'm using um, cacao nibs instead of chalk. Here goes Aiden with the dog. I'm using cacao nibs instead of chalk chips. This is the brand of um, maple syrup I'm using. Uh, this is my coconut oil. Most of this is from Aldi as well. And not in this recipe are these two items. I've got um, shredded coconut and some walnuts. So that is going to increase the calorie count even more than what's already on here. Okay, so here are all my ingredients. I wouldn't normally measure them all out like this, but just so it's easier for me to film this and um, do it at the same time. All I start with is my scales. They're on, I put my bowl on top. I zero it back out, so I'm back to zero. Now this um, recipe has asked to add dry ingredients and then wet ingredients. So um, all I do is have it all here ready to go. I've actually written down on a piece of paper all the ingredients in this recipe and they're the three ingredients that already have the amount in grams in the actual recipe. The rest are in tablespoons or cups or mills or teaspoons or the um, coconut and walnuts, I'm just adding, just chucking some in. So when I weigh them, I just um, fill in um, the other items and how many grams of that is. So I'll just do it now. So it's 175 grams of oats. So we just chuck them in and that's gonna take forever, so. So I literally just add things as I go. So they're the oats, um, it says 75 grams of chopped chips. So before I do that, I just zero out. And then 75 grams of these. Or 80. <laughs> so uh, we've got that. Then I'm gonna add in some coconut, zero out. So that's 28 grams of coconut. So over here, I just write um, 28 grams. I also have some walnuts I just chopped up, zero. Five, so just add 35 grams there. Um, 
cinnamon. I don't generally worry too much about cinnamon. It's four grams, but I'll do it for today. And baking powder, five grams. I really don't think that they're gonna be very significant at all. So there's all the dry ingredients in there. I'm just gonna give them a mix and then I will add the wet ingredients. So I've mixed all that up. Now the um, recipe said two tablespoons of maple syrup, which I measured out into here as two tablespoons. Um, so when we tip that in, it's 40 grams. So I put that over here. 40 grams of that. Now I just used um, skim milk, so it said 240 mils, which is what I've measured out. So I just zero it back out, add in the milk. 248. And coconut oil. Uh, where is that gone? I think it's still in the microwave. Doo -doo -doo. So I've measured out two tablespoons of coconut oil. Um, so zero out and 25. So 25 grams of coconut oil. So now I have every ingredient that is in that recipe measured out in grams. I now um, go and work out the calories that I'll write next to here for each of those amounts for these ingredients, if that makes sense, I hope. So I'll look up my fitness pal, I'll put in 175 grams of rolled oats, the brand that I use, and it'll tell me how many calories. I'll then put in 50 grams of mashed banana and work out the calories of that. I'll put in 25 grams of my brand of coconut oil and it will give me calories for that. That's the only thing I haven't added was the 50 grams of banana. So I'll put that in and I'll mix it up. So this is what the mix looks like when it's um, mixed up. Um, you can pretty much do so many different variations of this and there are other variations in the recipe book. Apple cinnamon, pumpkin and date, lots of different ones. Um, so now all I'm going to do is, this makes 12, so I've got my 6, you can use a silicon one, a bit easier to get them out. So I'll do 6 and then I'll do another 6 and while they're baking I'll work out my calories. So that mixture used about half a banana for 50 grams. So I've used the other half of the banana to just put a slice on each one. So I'll factor that other 50 grams of that banana into my recipe. Now I'm just gonna pop these in the oven for however long and then let them cook, get them out and do the next batch. So now I've just gone through each of my ingredients and what they weigh and gone into my fitness pal and worked out what Calories are in each ingredient. So 175 grams of rolled oats using the brand that I use is 676 calories and so on. So I went through all those ingredients. There's all the calories for each ingredient. Added them all up, came to 2077 for the entire mix. Um, it made 12 muffins or 12 oat cups. So you divide that total mix by 12 in this case and you get 173 calories per oat cup. So in terms of a snack, that's a pretty good calorie size for a snack. Um, if you're trying to do 1200 calories per day, uh, like I did when I was losing weight, I sort of aimed my snacks around the 100 to 150 mark. So um, you could easily leave out the cacao nibs and the walnuts and coconut. That brings it down to under 100 calories per oat cup. Or even if you just halve the cacao nibs, um, that would bring it out lower again still. So there are different variations. There are things you can leave out. It tastes really delicious, so give this recipe a go. Um, but really good little snack. So that's how I work out the calories in my recipes. Um, it does seem a little bit um, tedious and time consuming maybe to you guys, um, but it really is the only way to work out exactly what you're having in your recipes with the brand of ingredients that you use. I don't want to sort of scare you guys off too much thinking it's too much hard work and you couldn't be bothered, but um, it's just up to you. If that's not your thing, that's cool. Um, but yeah, I just like to know how many calories is in what I eat. So. Um, that's how I do it.